Hey everyone, welcome to d.py. In today's video, we are going to build a chat bot that will be powered by ChatGPT and we will be able to teach it live. So in this video, we will build two different modules. The first one will be to teach the chat bot and the second one will be to communicate with the chat bot. This chat bot will be powered by ChatGPT. So first of all, you gotta get your OpenAI API key and pinecone api key and pinecone environment in my previous videos i have already shown you how to get your open ai api key now let's get this pinecone api key first of all i already have it but i'm going to show you quickly how you can get it so if you go to pinecone.io you can log in here i'm already logged in so on the left side as you can see there are api keys if i click it here is my api key and here is the environment okay so i just have to copy and bring this information over here so now i am going to exit this file now let's focus on our first module in which we will build a system through which we will teach our chatbot okay so let's create a file let's call it teach.py here I will say from from config import everything so now let's go to pinecone documentation and see how to implement it so first of all you have to install pinecone client with this command once it is installed we can import it like this and initialize pinecone let's do it okay we have imported pinecone and we have initialized it now let's replace this with pinecone api key and let's replace this with pinecone environment okay so we have initialized pinecone now pinecone is initialized let's create our first index you can say an index is a table like in my sequel you can just assume okay for the sake of learning let's go to pinecone if i go to indexes i can see there is an option that says create index let's do this okay let's call it tutorial 1536 so this dimension i'm specifying uh, it is 1536 because we will use open ai embeddings that returns a vector of 1536 dimension you can say and we will use cosine and let's create the index we can do it for free so our index is being initialized at the moment let's wait for it okay it is ready now we can use this index that is called tutorial okay so let's go to the documentation now let's look into this command that says pinecone.index let's copy paste okay here it is uh, our index is called tutorial okay let's verify it yeah it is called tutorial now we have this index ready pinecone configuration is ready now let's configure openai as well let's say import openai from openai dot okay we have imported open ai and we have imported this get embedding functions from open ai now let's initialize open ai dot api key equals okay now let's take a user input okay so this is the user input now let's generate embeddings of this input my input embeddings equals okay and this is the model i will use for generating the embeddings it is provided by openai 
and in this variable the embeddings will be stored whatever input the user gives ok. So, now I will insert these embeddings and this user input into pine cone ok. For that I can type index dot absurd we can use the absurd method over here and here I will say id let us generate a unique id maybe str time dot time let us import time as well ok so this will be the unique id and I will type values ok the values will be this embeddings and finally I will include some metadata and metadata will be this my input ok. So, in values we store the embeddings and in metadata we will include this input. Sorry, we have to do it this way text ok now it is ready. So, let us run this code now let me get it done using while loop. if length my input equals 0 let us break it so that if the user enters nothing it should not perform this operation. Uh, ok now let us run this code python teach dot pi ok let us teach it something like d dot pi is youtube's channel with few subscribers it has 5 videos at current date at the moment ok let us enter this information and see what happens ok so we have got some error ok sorry so here we have to type like vectors equals uh, and also let us make this a list ok let us run this code python teach.py ok let us input some information let us say d.py is youtube channel with few subscribers there are currently 5 videos on d.py ok let us input this information and see what happens ok so it is again asking me if I want to input some information I say no and I just press enter to get out of the loop so our program that will teach our chatbot whatever we want it is ready so now let's check out uh, pinecone as well and see what's changed there. Okay, let's get inside and okay over here as you can see we have one vector over here at the moment. Let's input some more data maybe. ok I think that is enough information for the testing purpose let us check out the indexes now ok now we have total of 4 vectors I can input as many as I want ok now let us move to our second module in which we will communicate with the chatbot ok. So I am going to copy all this code I will create a new file called communicate.py ok so in this file I have all the configuration already since I copy pasted it from the previous file so I am going to remove this 
so now instead of asserting new information we will query an information okay so i will type index.query and i will say vector equals my input embeddings okay let's say okay equals 3 and let's say include metadata equal true with okay so with this configuration i'm going to query information from pinecone okay so now let's store this in some variable let's say res equals hey there oops sorry i run a wrong code hey there okay okay so this is what i got uh, inside res we got this object over here and we have to get to this text somehow so so for the for that i will type for i in res matches context equals empty and in context i will just say i metadata and text slash n so this for loop will build a context for us and let's print this context and let's remove this print statement okay hey there all right in the context we got this information okay so now we have to call open ai gpt 3.5 api okay here it is here is the piece of code let's copy paste it and i will remove okay here i will type data slash you will answer according to the provided data okay here is an instruction i gave and here i will say okay got it and here okay sorry we have to pass the the user query over here sorry we have to pass the context over here also we have to pass the context over here let's say context okay and here we have to pass the user's query here is the user's input i'll just say this and okay now let's just print the response let's let's store the response somewhere now if we print response now let's print the response of user this is how we can print the response from gpt 3.5 api now let's save this and run the code also i will open another terminal and run teach.py as well so i have both the codes running at the same time here on this terminal i have this piece of code running and on the other terminal i have the information feeding code running now let's ask a question let's say what is the dot pi let's see what it has to say okay d dot pi is a youtube channel with few subscribers nice what what do you recommend then? Oh, sorry, it does not have memory, so it will not be able to know what was the previous text. Anyway, we can include it very easily, but I won't do that at the moment. Uh, let's say 
what are the number of videos d dot pi have okay it is saying d dot pi currently has five videos on their youtube channel perfect let's ask what is the next coming video on d dot pi let's see if it knows about it okay it is saying i'm sorry but the information about the next video is not provided okay now let's go to our another terminal and s give information about the next coming video okay the next coming video on d dot pi will be about creating a complete custom chatbot with front end and back end and press enter okay this information has been submitted now let's go back to the previous terminal and ask the same question we asked previously okay so what is the next coming video on d.py let's press enter and see what it has to say all right the next coming video will be about creating a complete custom chatbot so guys this is how you can create a chatbot and teach it live in next video we will build a complete chatbot with front end and back end right now i'm just giving you a code based examples so make sure to hit the subscribe button and do not miss the next video thank you for watching